So here, the disciples asked him. Listen to what Allah says. إِذْ قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ يَا عِيْسَ بْنَ مَرْيَمْ هَلْ يَسْتَطِيعُ رَبُّكَ أَنْ يُنَزِّلَ عَلَيْنَا مَائِدَةً مِنَ السَّمَاءِ O oh Jesus, O oh Isa, we want you to bring forth. Is it possible for your Rabb to bring forth a laid tablecloth? A laid tablecloth from heaven for us? We fasted the whole month. Now we need something from Allah. So Isa alayhi salam, Allah says, he said, قَالَتْ تَقُوا اللَّهَ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ be fearful of Allah. If you are true believers, be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They continued asking. They said, no, no, no. We don't mean bad. We are believers. But we would like it for a reason. Here's the reason. We want to eat from it. Some food from heaven. We want to eat from it. So they said, we want to eat from it. We want our hearts to be more at ease that really it is true. What we have asked you, you have brought it for us. We will believe, we will be the witnesses and so on. Now it is reported that some of these disciples, their belief within their heart was not very strong. They were still a little bit shaky because the whole community was against them. And the community didn't want. A lot of them were on the side of those who had rejected the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in fact, these people continued. Isa alayhi salam made a dua. Jesus may peace be upon him supplicated his creator. And he says, Oh my maker, send for us a laid tablecloth of food so that it can come to us as a point of happiness, a day of joy, so that the first and the last of us can all eat from it. Let it be a sign and it will be a sign for those who are here. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَالَ اللَّهُ إِنِّي مُنَزِّلُهَا عَلَيْكُمْ Okay, I'm sending it to you. Here it comes. Subhanallah. The tablecloth, Allah says, we have laid it completely and we're sending it down. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بَعْدُ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنِّي أُعَذِّبُهُ عَذَابًا لَا أُعَذِّبُهُ أَحَدًا مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ if after I send that laid tablecloth and you have all enjoyed the food and seen what it was all about, then if anyone still disbelieves, I will punish him a severe punishment. Let him know that. So Allah sent the laid tablecloth. MashaAllah, it is reported that they ate. Whether or not it was the last supper, Allah knows best. But they ate, you know, in the testaments, they speak of a last supper. Whether or not it was that, Allah knows best. But they ate and it is reported that so many people ate. The food was not depleted. This was a sign. It was a miracle. Thousands of people according to some narrations. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of this in the Quran. Now, after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of something that happened to the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him. The people began to get fed up of him because he was taking away their popularity. Those who were supposedly religious, those who had followers, their followers were now slowly talking about this messenger who came with this miracle, that miracle. He was the talk of the town. That created jealousy in the hearts of some of these people who had rejected him. So they hatched a plan. What was the plan? They went to the king of the time. And they told him, there is a man called Jesus of Bethlehem. This Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, he is saying this and saying that, and his eyes are on your kingdom. He wants your seat. In fact, he is going around saying he is the king. Now this is blasphemy. This is incorrect. Lies, jealousy, a plan and a ploy. This king without finding anything out, nothing at all. He decides, we can sort him out. By doing what? Send our men, look for him. 
Now, I have not made mention of all the difficulties suffered by Jesus. We have not gone into those details where the people made him suffer, but he was calm. He was very, very calm, very forgiving. He never wanted to revenge anybody. No one, not at all. He just continued with his work and he was always positive, not negative. And every time there was an opportunity to call people towards the Almighty, he used it. And he was very patient and calm. And they began to say, oh, this is what a wonderful man and so on. But the others who were disbelieving, they fell to this plot. So when the people came, they wanted to know, where is Jesus? He was nowhere to be found. Where is he? We want to know. Now, the disciples knew where he was. And I'm mentioning to you one narration. The disciples knew where he was. There was one of the disciples. The name given is Judas Iscariot. Allah knows best who exactly he was, but one of the disciples. And he decided to become a traitor. In fact, Shaitan overtook him. The devil overtook him and he led the men of this king and the Jewish people who were behind wanting to murder Jesus, may peace be upon him, to the room where he was. And there was a little window. So as this one man goes in to confirm that Jesus is in the room, who was he? He was the disciple. They sent him in. You go and confirm that he is in the room. They, this man goes into the room and he is now a traitor. Yet he's supposed to be a disciple. He goes into the room and he is asking Isa alayhi salam. He's just confirming that he is there. And at that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed the face of Judas. So it became the face of Jesus. And Allah took Jesus away through that window, gone up into the heavens in the proper form of the human being that he was. Taken up, ascension of Jesus. This is the Islamic version of the Quran. He was taken up completely well before anybody could harm him. Allah says at the beginning, Wassalamu alayya. Peace be upon me, they won't harm me at all. Nothing. So Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, was not harmed at all, nothing. He was taken up and the face of this traitor was made to be the face of Jesus. So now he was taking long to come out. A little while later, he comes out. These people are looking. They see Jesus. They go and hold him. He says, hey, I am Judas. No ways. So if you are Judas, where is Jesus? And if you are Jesus, where is Judas? They went back in. So they didn't know. They were also a little bit confused. But facially, they knew this is Jesus. And this man is continuing to say, I am not Jesus. I am Judas. They took him. They put a huge cross for him. They nailed him into the cross. And according to one narration, they, they took a crown of thorns as a means of disgrace for him. And they placed it on his head. And they were happy telling everyone we have crucified Jesus. But Allah knows Jesus was taken well before anybody could harm him. Subhanallah. No one harmed him. So where is Jesus right now? May peace be upon him. He is alive. He is in heaven. He is with Allah. We believe he is going to come back. Allah says, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ Indeed, he will be one of the signs of the coming of the hour. He will come down just before the hour. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes the place where he will come down. In Asham, at the moment it's the country of Syria. He says, the, the eastern part, a certain place, some of the scholars say, close to where the Amawi Masjid is today. And he will come down in a specific place. Allahu Akbar, he's going to come down towards the end of the time. And Allah says, all the true people of the book will believe in him before his final death. When he comes, he will live for a certain number of years. He will rule. He will spread the truth. He will spread the oneness. He will destroy the cross and he will do so many things. He will kill the Antichrist and what have you. And thereafter, he will also die. And Allah says they will believe in him before he dies. He will come with these signs. And this is why Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They did not kill Jesus. Nor did they crucify Jesus. But they were confused about him. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ لَفِي شَكٍ مِّنْ And those who were disputing about this Judas, Allah says they were in doubt. 
even when they were crucifying this man and even before and even after they are in plain doubt up to today who exactly was crucified